Hello everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing this smartphone, it's by a brand called Cubot, model number is X20 Pro and it's a budget priced Android smartphone. Now, when I first got this, I tried it out for a few days and by the build quality it got a glass back and front, um, free a camera looking more like an iPhone. Uh, just the build quality and the way um, it was designed with a USB Type-C port I thought this phone was the one budget priced probably has everything that I need so I went through it okay it looks very nice um, on the right side you got the power button and the um, volume um, buttons at the bottom is the speakers and the charging port on the left side you need a pin to open it and that's where the memory card and the uh, SIM goes in it comes with a um, a screen protector already on so you don't have to purchase one it also comes with a case as well free case because you wouldn't really find this um, if you search it online it comes with a mains plug and a USB um, type C cable it also comes with a quick um, guide and book and the box is here now let me switch, the, switch this on so I can show you the rest of the features now I got a front camera which is probably the best features that uh, I've tried out okay it got AI built in so when you take photos it does uh, clear that like everything out okay so it brightens everything up the rear cam camera however is really poor I mean I've taken photos um, in the dark it doesn't have no light, low light so it doesn't really um, like it doesn't really you can't really everything's dark okay and uh, when I record it lags I mean when you move side to side it, it doesn't have the stability so it, it lags to like move side to side or with with the movement of the um, smartphone okay um, battery life is one of the probably one of the best thing there okay um, so it got a 4000 mAh battery capacity with a OTG reverse charging port and data transmission that gives you a very good and battery life and it charges up very quickly as well you got the screen size is 6.3 inch FHD and it also has a dew drop um, screen as you can see here on top of that it has a 2.5D double sided curved glass with a built in Android 9.0 OS UI you got built in 6 gig RAM and 128 gig internal memory. So, because of 6 gig RAM, I actually thought this would be a fast phone. But trying out searching internet and going on YouTube is very slow. It loads. It takes a bit of time to load, and it's not like a con it's not a quick thing. So that was the downside. And you know, these are the main things. Like it has to operate fast. That's one thing you need. Camera should be good, but just the build quality that stands out on this smartphone. On top of that, it has a triple camera, which is a 12 megapixel, a 20 megapixel, and an 8 megapixel. Front camera is a 30 megapixel. Um, it also has a built-in, so you can take put in two dual sims, and it's also 4G compatibility as well. Another thing that um, really uh, was um, let me down on this smartphone is that, especially with the new smartphones these days, new new, new technology you need fingerprint um, sensor so you can unlock things especially when you have um, your bank um, app there so it's easy instead of doing the password and stuff you can just um, you know just put your fingerprint there and it unlocks it PayPal unlocks it but this one doesn't have that built in it doesn't have no fingerprint sensing feature so that was a letdown big letdown and that's the only reason why I, I, didn't, I didn't like using this uh, but it does have face ID built in so it does recognize your face and it would unlock it straight away but obviously certain apps wouldn't have that feature of unlocking it by recognizing your face it needs your fingerprint um, also it has a built in Bluetooth 4.2 and the the, the f it's 8.1 millimeters slim okay that's still quite chunky to be honest for for this um, smartphone um, so that's all the features that I could um, explain so let me go through the settings and let's see what else they have okay so it is a smooth smartphone but when you're like ser searching things online on YouTube it, it lo loading time takes a bit of time and it's not my broadband because I've tried it with different phones and certain phones um, load straight away wherever you press uh, so network is here and then you got the connect uh, connection so you got Bluetooth here um, it doesn't have no NFC, so that's another downside, so you can't really use Google Pay on this. Um, so we got display here, so you got night light, you got brightness level, you got adaptive brightness, 
uh, advanced is auto rotation, a screen saver, etc. And then you got the sound where you can control the media sounds, um, phone ringtone, advanced few things like putting the um, sound of the dial pads on, etc. And you can also put the sound enhancement. So another downside that I forgot to mention is the speakers. Now it got only one speaker by the way, like an iPhone, and it has a sound enhancement. I think it is loud. It's not really really loud, okay, but. It's quiet when you compare them to another phones, to be honest, and it's, it has a very squeaky treble, high high level of treble. Okay, no bass or nothing, no um, surround sound system, just very squeaky treble um, speaker. So it's like if you put a song on, it's like it's very squeaky, and it's that's something I wouldn't also recommend. Okay, because of the speaker, especially if you're watching a YouTube and stuff like that, film. And if the speaker is not good enough, this I, I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't really go near it, unless you're a person who doesn't really go and watch YouTube and videos and as much. But there are quite a lot, lot of downside on this phone. Just the build quality that stands out the most on this. Now, if you go to the storage, you got 128 gig built in. You got security and location, so you got find my phone. You got pin. You got face unlock. That's about it. Smart lock, but it doesn't really have fingerprint unlock. You got accounts, accessibility, navigation bar, digital well-being, and parental controls, Google and system. Now, I've also um, let me go back. Um, if you go too far, I've I've taken a picture. So let me see if I can show it. All right. So this is the video I've done. Okay. So it lags. So you can see that it's lagging when it's moving side to side. So that was one of the downside. Um, I think I've done another one here. So I was just trying to do move quickly side to side, but you can see that it doesn't keep up with the movements of the um, phone. And I think I've taken a no. That's not the one. Um, okay, I did. I did take a picture, but I can't find it. Okay, but you can see the cam and um, the camera is like that. Let me see if I can take a picture of this. Uh, this is because it got all the like, lighting on it, but usually without any lighting, um, the quality of this camera is really poor. Because I got like two two cameras actually, um, two uh, two yeah, flashlights on, so the quality is like this. Okay, um, but you need plenty of light to get a good quality picture. Video wise, it's rubbish. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but that's about it with this smartphone. It's a budget price smartphone for something that you want with a good build quality. Has a lot most of the features, but because it, you know you pay, you, you get what you, you what you pay for. So if you're paying 150 pounds, you would get something that doesn't have everything built in because it's a budget price smartphone. Okay, so that's all I could say. Um, in my opinion, I wouldn't really recommend it because there are other phones that you can purchase within that same price range that has more features built in. So thank you for watching my video. Please do give a like and subscribe.